History is in the making tonight as at 3.45 a.m. local Israeli time on Friday morning, Israel will launch the world's first privately funded mission towards the moon from Cape Canaveral. And if successful, the Bereshit, or Genesis, robot explorer is expected to land on the near side of the moon on April 11th, after a whopping two-month, four-million-mile-long adventure. Now once it arrives, it will begin its three-day mission to collect photographs, measure the moon's magnetic field, and more. And aside from the private funding and the interesting mission, the Bereshit Explorer is setting plenty of other firsts too. It's Israel's first longer-range spacecraft operating on what is set to become Israel's first lunar mission. And upon arrival, the four-legged unmanned craft would also be the smallest and cheapest craft to be landed on the moon so far, at a cost of just $100 million. Additionally, the lander is set to achieve a controlled soft landing, and the fourth such landing on the moon ever, after the United States, China, and the former Soviet Union. Further, the craft will also be taken up towards the lunar body by the Falcon 9 rocket, developed by Israeli-American Elon Musk's SpaceX company. And finally, the Bereshit also has on board a digital time capsule, including within it a singular disc with files of children's drawings, photos, and other such information on human culture and history. Now again, the mission is set to take off at 3.45 a.m. Israel time on Friday morning, or 8.45 Eastern Standard Time on Thursday evening. And if you're interested in seeing the launch, make sure to check in with the Israel Aerospace Industries online for a link to the live broadcast.